Good morning ladies and gents and thank you for watching ASFN Fishing. Guys, we really need your support and subscription so please make sure you subscribe to our channel then you can also choose to, to push that little notification button that will give you notifications each time we upload a video. We we'll upload videos Monday to Friday every day and uh, yes, it's been our business for 15 years to share everything we can about fishing to get you better results. Also, when you like the videos, it really assists our channel in growing. So thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the subscribers. And uh, yeah, today is a bait demo. I'm going to show you guys the, the very popular little frigates that's been around. It's a small subspecies of Bonito, uh, which the guys are using for non-edible fish and meaning the flatfish, skates, rays, and then sharks in summer months. So I'm just gonna show you how to tie this in a nice little fleshy, smelly bait uh, with a lot of blood seeping out that you're gonna use in the dirty, colder water normally, or even in your clear water. A lot of fish will pick that up. Obviously, the edible fish loves this as well. And uh, if there's a lot of peckers around, they will chomp it off quite quickly. It's a very nice, soft supple meat. Um, but very, very effective uh, bait to use in the summer months on our east coast. Now all you're going to need, obviously I've just brought a trace with to show you how to hook it up. And this is a little dangle I prefer for these baits. I shape a little bit of foam and I use uh, piano wire to pull the Dacron braided thread through. Two beads, one on each side, a welded ring on the bottom where you're going to hook your sinker on and yeah, I just make a figure of eight knot on top which my hook will push through underneath now here's a hair curler you buy them at these uh, well, Chinese shops or wherever you can and you cut a piece off this is to hold your bait onto this foam obviously with the blood and the slime your bait will slip off sometimes and it, it's not very secure so with this it just assists in keeping that bait on I just cable tie it on much quicker and then you've got the two pins of the cable tie sitting on this side which also holds your bait. It just, it's quite effective for me. Now, first things first, when you cut a little bait, you see how nice and small these heads are? You're gonna measure the size of the bait you want. Still nicely frozen. Now, this is all from Ad Can Marine. These little frigates available from there. They come two in a pack. And I'm going to shape this nicely to fit onto my dangle. Now, when we tie these baits, obviously we get so many questions saying, guys saying, oh, it takes so long with the bait, I just want to get a bait in the water. Now, please understand this is demonstration purposes. So we're not going to do it as fast as you would on the beach. When you do these baits, you eventually get uh, quite quick with them to tie them. And... Uh, it doesn't take nearly as long as in for demonstration purposes where we explain a lot, we talk a lot, and we explain how to do this bait. Now, the gills in the bottom, I like splitting the head from the top. That's, there's no specific reason. But in a lot of cases, like with mackerel and that, and with this as well, the oil canister sit in the top of the head in any case. Now, what I do is you can turn this inside out and fit it around the dangle. Just importantly, I put the mouth to the bottom just for aerodynamica to cast this better. And then I center it and I really squash it onto that dangle properly with my hand. Now the reason I do it with the head facing out is this is a hard bait which uh, is going to sit in the bottom so if there's pickers around they're chomping away at your bait when they get through the soft fleshy upper part of the bait they'll reach the head which will allow your bait to last a bit longer in the water and allow a bigger fish to, to actually take it oh, I forgot it's finished let's just grab this pool okay. ah. and this you hold together and squeak sure, lovely strong smell that bonito smell, uh, yellowfin type smell. The yellowfin tuna has got a very similar smell. Strong, strong smell. And that, I'll just neatly fit it on there and then tie this together. Now with that hair curler in the bottom, it's not going anywhere.
Okay, another tip guys for tying the head is you can use the ghost cotton, especially if there's pickers around. The ghost cotton will secure this nicely in the bottom and the pickers don't bite it off as easily as the latex cotton. What, but I'll still use latex cotton around it because what the latex does, because it's elastic, it actually pulls the bait together nicely. All right, and then very simple guys, you're gonna use cutlets. Gonna do a whole bunch of cutlets to build that bait up to the size you want it. Now, it goes without saying, the size of your bait you wanna cast, you obviously adapt your dangle accordingly. If you wanna cast a big bait like this, you're gonna use a much bigger dangle than what I'm using. This is for a nice, smaller bait. And this ties a really, really neat bait. Okay. And then you're going to start layering. Okay guys, now because we're using frozen bait, as you go along, the heat of your hand will slowly defrost the outside which allows you to shape this perfectly. Alright, you can see that little shape. Now nothing prevents you from adding to that. You can take another frigate, put some cutlets on and build this up to be bigger. But there's a perfect little frigate bait or small body bait. and. Uh, this you'll just hook onto your trays. A lot of flavor, a lot of blood there. It disperses quickly, so if there's a couple of guys on the beach, normally when there's a bit of a smash, a couple of fish coming out, the guys pile up quickly. So you want the bait that releases the most possible smell, the quickest, to get the bite. And that you're just gonna hook underneath the knot, you find exactly the middle of that braided cord to make it as strong as possible. And then you work this braided cord over the bob so it stays on the hook nicely. And there you go. That's your bait. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, guys, we do read all the comments. We do see your questions and we try and get to all of that as quick as we can. This is a very relevant bait at this stage of the game. Uh, summer months where there's diamonds, a lot of flatfish around and coming out, the sandy, lovely sandy bait, um, the ribbon tails, thorn tails we've been seeing in the area, really a nice bait, obviously a shark will not swim past it. Just on the trace, this is a tuna circle, must add, and I'm using 7x7 seven seven, um, surflon, nylon coat. Thank you for watching and please make sure you subscribe and please like the video. It really assists us. Thanks guys. See you next time.